Okay, so now we're ready to fire her back up. After you, after I finished sending the information to the phone, you have to reboot it again. So here we go. I also will be making a tutorial on a flashable zip called Cricut Jig Fix. It's for all your uh, MMS settings and whatnot in your APMs. It, it works. It works well as far as sending and receiving picture messages. Um, I haven't really tried on my custom ROMs, but I will look into that as I make more videos for the Droid Razor. And my next video after this one will be how to root and put a custom recovery on your Droid Razor. It's real simple. The the developers that that work with Motorola, they're they're real good at making things simple for us. Gotta love them droids. Okay. See cricket at the bottom? That's because of the flashable zip I was talking about. It goes back to Verizon after it does its thing, but at least it says cricket for a minute. Now as we wait for our 3G to show up, it shouldn't take long, but on your first boot, it might. And if you want to verify that your phone is on Cricket and you didn't just waste your time, you could always go to 611. Right. Now you know you're on Cricket. And there's our 3G. If my wife's phone would focus in on it. But as you see, this is the simplest way that you can do it. Or actually see. Uh, it took about 16 minutes to show you. But I believe it's worth it if you love your Motorola Droid phones as much as I do. And I look forward to your comments and hope you enjoy your phone. Next video, how to root and install a custom recovery. Thanks for spending your time with me once again and have a good day.